Welcome to our lecture on children's dosages. Today we will be discussing how to calculate the dose of a medication for a child using four common techniques. Clark's rule, Young's rule, body surface area method, and weight-based dosing. Starting with Clark's rule, as you can see by the equation, it is the weight of the child in pounds times the adult dose in milligrams divided by the average weight of an adult, or 150 pounds. Since there are pounds in both the numerator and the denominator, this unit will cancel out, leaving us only with milligrams for our final units. Essentially what this equation is, is a proportion of the weight of the child over the average adult weight times the typical adult dose to give us the relatively scaled child's dose. So let's try a problem. You're working at the pharmacy when you receive a prescription for a child for amoxicillin. The provider asks that you calculate the child's dose using Clark's rule. The child weighs 47 pounds and the traditional adult dose is 500 milligrams. When we reference our original equation, we see that in order to solve the problem, we need the weight of the child and the adult dose, both of which the question gives us. We then substitute in our values to get 47 pounds times 500 milligrams divided by 150 pounds. We then will solve our numerator so that we can prepare to divide. This will give us 23,500 divided by 150. Finally, our answer after solving that will be 156.6 or 157 milligrams. This is an example of solving an equation using Clark's rule. Next, we will discuss Young's rule. Young's rule is the child's age in years times the adult's dose in milligrams divided by the child's age plus 12 years. Since there are years in both the numerator and the denominator, they will cancel out, leaving only milligrams for our final units. Again, this is similar to a proportion. You have the child's age in years over the child's age plus 12, or an adult age, times the typical adult dose, which is equal to the child's dose. So you're back at the pharmacy, but this time the provider asks that you calculate the dose using Young's rule. The child is 7 years old and the traditional adult dose is 500 milligrams. When we reference our original equation, we see that what we need to solve the problem is the child's age and the adult dose, both of which the problem gives us. Go ahead and try to solve this equation using Young's rule now. Now that you have tried to solve Young's rule on your own, we're going to go ahead and walk you through it. So you substitute in your numbers, 7 years times 500 milligrams divided by 7 plus 12 years. You will then solve your numerator and denominator so that you can prepare to divide. This will give you 3,500 over 19. Your final answer should have been 184.2 or 184 milligrams. Please review to ensure that you got this answer as this is how you solve a dose problem using Young's rule. Next, we will discuss body surface area method. This method use, uses the child's body surface area, or BSA, in meters squared times the adult dose in milligrams divided by 1.73 meters squared, or the average BSA of an adult. Again, you have meters squared in both your numerator and your denominator, meaning they will cancel out, leaving you with milligrams for your final units. This is another proportion. It's the child's BSA over the adult BSA times the typical adult dose, which is equal to a relatively scaled child's dose. So once again, you're back at the pharmacy and you get another amoxicillin prescription. The provider asks that you calculate the child's dose using the body surface area method. The child's BSA is 1.07 meters squared, and the traditional adult dose is still 500 milligrams. So we reference our original equation. We see that in order to solve the problem, we need the child's BSA as well as the adult dose, both of which the question gives us. Pause the video now and try to solve this problem using the body surface area method. Now that you have tried for yourself, let's walk through it together. So you substitute in the numbers that the problem gives you. You get 1.07 meters squared times 500 milligrams divided by 1.73 meters squared. You then multiply your numerator to prepare to divide. This will give you 535 divided by 1.73, meaning your answer should have been 309.2 or 309 milligrams. This is an example of solving a dosing equation using the body surface area method. 
Finally, we'll discuss weight-based dosing, which is a little bit different. Weight-based dosing is written as X milligrams per kilogram and is solved by multiplying the desired milligrams by the patient's weight in kilograms. So you're back at the pharmacy. This time, the provider wants you to calculate the child's dose using weight-based dosing. The child weighs 47 pounds, just as he did in the first problem, and the physician would like the child to take 20 milligrams per kilogram per day. Pause now and see if you can figure out what is wrong with this prescription. Did you catch what was wrong? The problem gives us the weight in pounds. However, the equation asks us to solve in kilograms. So before we can solve this problem, we need to convert pounds to kilograms. 47 pounds divided by 2.2 is equal to 21.4 kilograms. This is an important step in this process. You always need to make sure that you double check that your units are correct before moving on with solving the problem. If the question gives you the weight in pounds, be sure to convert over to kilograms before you start solving to ensure you get the correct answer. So then we solve using that kilogram. It's 20 milligrams times 21.4 kilograms as we saw on the last screen, divided by one kilogram per day. This is because in the problem it tells us the physician would like the patient to take 20 milligrams for every one kilogram that the patient has. Notice how in the numerator you have kilograms and in the denominator you also have kilograms. This will cause these two to cancel out, leaving milligrams per day as your answer. When you, numer when you multiply excuse me, your numerator, you will get 428 divided by 1, or 428 milligrams per day. But it doesn't stop there. The provider calls back and asks that rather than taking 20 milligrams per kilogram per day all at once, he wants the child to take 20 milligrams per kilogram per day in three divided doses. In order to do this, you will set the equation up using your total daily dose that you found on the last screen, 428 milligrams, and divide it by three doses, as that's how many times the provider would like the child to take the medication. Notice how your numerator and your denominator have different units. Nothing will cancel out, meaning your answer will be in milligrams per doses. This will give you 142.7, or 143 milligrams after rounding, per dose. I've listed here some common dosing intervals. Every four hours is equal to six doses. Every six hours is equal to four doses. Every eight hours is equal to three doses. And every 12 hours is equal to two doses. So when you are solving this problem, if the physician were to have written that the patient should take the medication every 12 hours, you would have used two doses in the denominator rather than three doses. Before we finished, we wanted to give you a few helpful hints. Be sure to always check your units in the question as well as the answer to ensure that you're solving the equation appropriately. If the question gives you units in grams, but the answers are in milligrams, be sure to convert from grams to milligram before solving to ensure that you get the correct answer. This would mean multiplying grams by 1000 to ensure that all of your units match up. You saw this in the weight-based dosing exercise where the question gave us pounds, but the answer had to be in kilograms. Therefore, we had to convert over before we could solve the problem. Always double check your units to ensure that you solve the problem appropriately.